So the next resource booklet is called Smart Havens Africa, and this is an innovation by Anne Royora, who's based in Uganda. Her and her team have developed affordable housing options for people struggling to buy their own homes. Again, similarly to the other resources, we encourage students to look at the Sustainable Development Goals that are linked to this uh, innovation, as well as doing a bit of research around the country. We start as well with an opportunity for students to do a little design task, getting them to think about a home that runs sustainably and space effective. So something that's been identified in Uganda is just how hot some of the homes get. So one of the tasks that you can get your students to do is think about the best way to make the most efficient fan. So um, they can maybe uh, start to kind of sketch out designs on pieces of cardboard and they can then actually look at how many blades and the shape of them they could actually use. Now in the kit there's some really nice 3D printed parts, these yellow parts here, and depending on the type of fan design that your students come up with, they can either maybe blue tack it on, uh, they can use uh, pieces of wood to actually vary the number of blades. And what they can then do is using some of the DEX science set, is they can set up the small electric motor to actually test out the efficiency of these fans. And one way that we found worked quite well was if you had this held vertically, you put it on top of a, a, very, a very small uh, digital mass balance or set of weighing scales. And actually that means when you plug it in, you'll see a very slight change in the reading and that tells you about the force that this is applying. And that means you can then start to maybe look at which is the most effective blade design for the fan that you've designed. Of course in the resource it talks about um, but creating a solar powered fan, which students can go on to do. However, we suggest for at least for the testing of their different blades that the battery works much better. Especially when you're inside and you're not at, you know, you don't actually see that bright sunshine shining on the solar panels. And of course people uh, want to feel safe in their homes. So the next practical task is for students to create a buzzer system that operates when a door is opened. So this was made using again the Dext kit. So we've got a buzzer, a couple of batteries, and actually you've got to make your own switch. So this one here, um, as soon as I move it, what we hear is that it starts to beep. And the reason for that, let me just put this back in, is that when the door is shut, the switch is open, but because of uh, the way the switch is designed, as soon as that door is opened, this bit of cardboard moves out and then the connection is made. And again, if you want to find out more about this resource and download a PDF version of it, um, you can find that on the STEM resource website.